Well, top of the morning to you folks. Um, today, we're gonna be doing a side imaging episode. So, I've done a couple side imaging episodes and they've always done very well. We're in the heat of the summer and we've got that thermocline going and all that great stuff. And side imaging can really help you find the fish, locate the fish. So, we're gonna go to a new section of the lake that I don't really fish very often find some new structure and uh, and fish it and we're going to talk about the settings on side imaging so if you like this type of content do me a favor and subscribe and share this video because you know we're in the the, uh, the era of live scope but at the same time side imaging is still extremely important in fact I think every boat should have side imaging on it along with live scope but side imaging without doubt will help you find structure faster and put you on the fish faster as well so thanks again for joining me let's put some fish in the boat and we're gonna go over side imaging today thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies that's all right folks we're in the era of live scope and I'll tell you it doesn't really matter we still need side imaging you know we just came back from the Kentucky Lake tournament on the ACT and we utilized side imaging way more than we did live scope in finding and discovering new piles on a lake that we weren't familiar with. So that's what we're gonna do today, actually, on my home lake. We're gonna to go to a part of it that I typically do not fish. We're gonna use that side imaging to find new structure. And I'm gonna walk you through my settings, how I utilize side imaging, and uh, that's gonna be the episode. So putting fish in the boat and side imaging, that's our priority today, folks. Let's get on it. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna try that. We're gonna try that. Doesn't look like there's a ton of fish on it, but we're just gonna have a look at it, check it out. All right, so let me show you what, what that was. What we saw inside imaging right there, what does it look like? So that's a really good find. I mean, so you mark that on your, uh, your GPS and there's fish on it for sure without a doubt already caught about two didn't show those probably but uh, they were smaller but that's a great find one day I'm around this area I'll have that spot to go to now on a part of the lake that I typically don't fish all right so we're gonna go through my settings and I like the amber color I'm a big believer in 70 foot left and 70 foot right the reason why I like this is that it's manageable and you can see things you can a lot of times you can actually see the fish so when those fish are just slightly suspended off a of structure, you can see those fish, which I think is very valuable, valuable because um, you can on side imaging see fish. So, but start off your side imaging units with 70 foot left, 70 foot right. I think that's a really good number, especially for a unit that is a, a 10 inch or a nine inch, okay? I do recommend nine and 10 inch uh, units because at the end of the day, uh, bigger screens always gonna be a little bit better. So we're gonna hit our menu button here. You can go down to sensitivity contrast. You know, I, I'm a big believer and those numbers should be roughly around the center. I'm a little off today, it looks like, because I just came off of uh, Kentucky Lake not so long ago. So anywhere in these ranges right here, whatever you, you know, think is it looks like a good picture right now, for some reason at 15, it does look good. So I'm gonna keep it there. Um, chart speed is set at five. The key there, folks, is that you really wanna go about the same speed as that chart speed. So. Um, anywhere around five mile an hour is kind of the speed in which I troll and to look for these structures. Again, I go with the amber color and I'm not even sure what dynamic contrast is, but it's off. So the way you get there folks is you just hit menu and you're gonna be right there off of your uh, side imaging. When you get your side imaging screen up, that's what I have. Now I do have all my presets set on my unit. So here's my three presets here. I'm always starting off with a map then I'm gonna go with my side imaging and then I have them together right here because this is the unit, this is kind of, especially if I've got waypoints, here's an old waypoint. Um, we'll go over there and look at it actually, why not? Um, I like to see what it looks like on side imaging. And if I'm trying to find, uh, follow a contour line with my big engine, um, I can follow that contour line on the maps over here while I'm side imaging over here. So. I think, I think this is a great key right here. But a lot of times I'll be flipping back and forth between these two right here, making sure I'm following a contour and that type of thing. So we're gonna fish that little spot just out of curiosity. 
might as well. Little structure over here, nothing too big. I wouldn't be too excited about it. The other thing about, you know, another thing about side imaging is it shows a better picture if you're, the item that you're scanning is further away. In other words, it's casting a, you know, a, a beam that way. If it can be a little bit further away, maybe in that 30 to 35 foot mark, it's gonna show it way better than if you're passing right over it. So when like we, me and Wade do our search on Kentucky Lake, what he will do is he'll work back here with the side imaging and I'll go up with live scope and I'm scanning everything that's coming underneath the boat. Now you can see the things that are coming underneath your boat with side imaging, but side imaging is about side imaging, not underneath your boat. So um, just remember that if a structure is really close to the boat, you're not gonna see it as well. It needs to be further out there. It'll cast a bigger shadow. You'll see fish better that way. Um, you might be missing some of the things that are truly right underneath your boat. Good fish. Great fish. Look at that. Nice fish. Slow, methodical bite. We're going to let him go to get today. Um, but side imaging, really critical, especially at like Kentucky Lake Lake, that you don't know. Side imaging can speed that whole process up for sure. So side imaging definitely speeds up the process and finding crappie, even on my home lake, on areas that I don't typically fish, it just makes it that much easier. Side imaging, whether you use Lowrance, Hummingbird, or Garmin, they all have their mega style of side imaging. And I'm just partial towards the Hummingbird because I think the interface is very nice and it's the units that I have. Probably the same thing that most Lowrance uh, guys are gonna say the same thing. Well, I had Lowrance, that's what I'm used to. So no big deal. They all work great, just utilizing it is still important to discover even new parts of your home lake. So some other things I like to talk about when we're talking about side imaging is the screen size, and the generations that hummingbirds come out with. Because personally, I like hummingbird. I know that Lawrence has got great side imaging, and Garmin has some too, but I'm still a big fan of the, the mega imaging on hummingbirds. So let's talk about the generations. Generation one, two, three. Uh, generation one is old. It's not gonna show a very good picture. Mega imaging came along in generation two, and uh, boy, that just was fantastic. I think. If you have a generation two, you can stick with it because I don't know if generation three is that much better, to be quite honest with you. And uh, I've had both. So I would go with either one of those. Both units are great, generation two or three. Big difference though, if you have a one, you need to upgrade to that two or three if you can, if you can afford that. Um, screen size, get the biggest screen you can absolutely afford. Um, too many times I see people get a five or a seven inch side imaging screen and they're always upgrading, they're selling them get them any day of the week um, so I always target a 9 or a 10 inch side imaging screen so. so honestly folks during a day that I would go out and fish I love doing this type of stuff I love finding new piles new structure where can I bring my guide trips to so this is an ideal day for me is just exploring maybe not catching a ton of fish but definitely finding new points of interest on the lake so that I can bring clients to perhaps at the next guide trip. So a lot of great fishing can be had in even lakes that you already know. It's just a great experience and side imaging gives you that power to do that. interesting is back here in the coves it's the water's really muddy because of all the rain that we've gotten so they're really whitened up good fish
all right that's gonna end it uh gonna end on a nice egypt eater as i like to call them 11 inch fish so thanks for watching i appreciate it. side imaging very important awesome tool check them out folks good fish let them go Folks, I could not be any more excited than I am now. I am here to introduce the three pound fishing elite series right here. Look for the metallic red. I'm talking red hot folks. The three pound fishing right there. It is on the rod. Got your own name tag for three pound fishing. Ozark rods coming out with a 10, 11, 12 and 13 footer. It's inspired by all the live scoping and crappie that we're putting in the boat here. We've made this fishing pole a little bit stiffer. It is light at 7.2 ounces for the 13 footer folks. That is extremely light, sensitive, huge amount of backbone. And we're just gonna be pulling those slabs into the boat. Check them out at ozarkrod.com.